Right, we've got two clubs in this custom fit studio that are literally 30 years apart in terms of their manufacturing date. One is from Ping, one is from TaylorMade. Has there been any real changes in 30 years of golf club manufacturing? So first of all, let's talk about the two clubs in question. One is from that new range from TaylorMade, the Stealth. January of this year, it's a hybrid. It's a five hybrid. It's got 25 degrees worth of loft on it. I think it's a super club. It's very much the go-to club for a lot of average golfers. When I say the go-to club, I mean a hybrid, not necessarily this model. And then this Ping Classic Ping I2 iron, which is, to be honest, it's an iconic looking iron. It's one that I used to have in the bag um, almost 30 years ago. I didn't buy these when they first came out, but I certainly had them in sort of uh, during the 90s. It's a very unique look, a very unique Ping profile that uh, a lot of you will be very, very familiar with. And the difference is, well, what are they? I'm really interested to find out. So I'll shut up, I'll start hitting some golf balls and see if we can decide if there's been a, uh, a movement in terms of technology and if it has been one, how great is that move? Now, one of the big issues that I think we will potentially find with the Ping Iron is the exact one that I face right now. And that is, I've not hit any golf balls whatsoever. This will be the first shot of the morning. No warm up whatsoever. And I'm faced with an old style four iron. And I know from a confidence perspective, first of all, there's a massive lean towards that hybrid thinking, well, if I have hybrid in hand right now, first shot of the day, I reckon I can get something down there. If it's not so good, I might get away with it. When I look down at this ping four iron, I'm not quite so confident, but we'll see how it goes. It's also worth mentioning that the four iron has got exactly the same loft on it of, uh, as that of the, the hybrid, that being 25 degrees. Right, come on and it feels really good in hand, I must say. <laughs> well, I know that you heard that in terms of audio, I actually hit a really decent shot there, a little bit uh, right to left, Definitely got it off the bottom grooves and definitely felt it a little bit, but I'm quite surprised it's just how good that ball went off, to be honest with you. Now, I've decided to do exactly the same thing, but this time with hybrid. So uh, we've hit one four iron. I'm going to switch straight into this hybrid and uh, Trackman is on. So I'm just going to have a look in terms of data. What happens with these first two shots of the morning and just how great, like I said, is that difference, if any? Well, it's absolutely chalk and cheese in terms of ball flight. Um, one went extremely high, which was the hybrid. It seemed to fire off there a lot, lot faster. Um, definitely got that still off the bottom grooves as well. I don't know if you can, uh, that was the contact area. So that wasn't a great strike either, but certainly felt like I got away with a lot more. So let's have a look in terms of data as to what the difference actually was. Okay, so what I thought we would do, I have not seen this data, one shot each, don't forget. So, right, let's have a look. So I'll put it on screen for you now as I'm seeing it. I'm trying to analyze the numbers quickly, but basically we've got, as I thought, longer in terms of the hybrid. We sort of all expected that maybe. Ball speed off the hybrid, quite considerably higher. Um, like I said, the four iron launched incredibly well, considering it was like, I certainly felt off the bottom grooves. And the fact that I got 181 carry distance out of an old four iron that's 30 years old, I'm hugely impressed. So without going into too much of that detail right now, we've seen that as the two first shots of the morning. What I wanna find out next is when I hit 10 shots with each, what starts to happen in terms of the averages. But right now, it's fair to say I'm fairly shocked by that data. Now, one thing to mention is this iron has had a modern shaft from Nippon. It's the AWT shaft put in. So I don't know how much difference that would have made to what was the original type of shaft in these things, but maybe that's also a, uh, a consideration. I'm in this nice show. This five hybrid is a club though, like I said, is a absolute no brainer for a lot of golfers, you know. The interesting thing with this is there's just no effort required. Whatever I put on it, the ball just fires out there. But I could hit this thing all day long. 
impressive. Ah, oh, it's a golf shot. Let's leave that one there on the hybrid, I think. I am really surprised, you know, how well I've hit this. Do you know what my overriding thought is? Ping made better feeling irons 30 years ago than they do now. I mean, this is just so much better feeling than kind of like I-25s, I-500s, I-59s. It's just a much purer feel. Oh, I'm enjoying it in this, you know. I'm almost impressed with me, my own performance. That's beautiful. Do you know what, I've got to say, I enjoyed every minute of hitting that club. It literally was a trip down memory lane. And uh, whatever the results are in terms of data, I was super impressed with how that thing performed, you know. That was the easiest head-to-head -head I've ever done. And to be honest with you, perhaps one of the most enjoyable as well. Um, like I keep saying, I'm really surprised at how well that four iron performed. And uh, if I'm honest with you, how well I performed with it as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the full set of numbers. We'll go with the four iron first. Uh, 173 average carry, really high launch, 18.5 degrees. 118 ball speed, four and a half thousand revs of spin, peak height of 94, and a descent angle, would you, uh, descent angle, would you believe, of 45.7 degrees. So it's kind of, that club would work at a sort of 173 carry uh, into a green, that ball is performing really well. It's stopping on greens, it's doing everything you'd ask for it. Um, arguably, the thing is, as in relation to a modern day five iron, let's say, I would probably expect to still be longer with a five iron in hand with the same loft, but we haven't got that, we're not doing that test. But anyway, hybrid numbers now. Um, 189 carry, so now considerable distance when we were looking to hit over a range of shots. 16.3 uh, average launch. Ball speed considerably higher, almost 10 mile an hour. 4.7 spin, 102 uh, peak height and a land angle of 46.3. And again, doing everything you'd want coming into a green at 190 yards on average, then it's doing incredibly well in terms of those numbers. And that's why I always say on this channel how the likes of a five hybrid or a seven wood are really an essential part of every average golfer's makeup. So the point of this video though is not how good the hybrid is or um, it's about modern technology and how much has it progressed. When the clubs are both 25 degrees, there's, there's, there's one other thing that we've got to remember. There's an inch longer shaft in the five hybrid and we know that in itself is gonna generate more club head speed, so we know it's naturally gonna be longer anyway. I think almost the difference that we'd expect to see, we've seen. So the ball speed is a hotter face, the ball speeds are faster off the face. Um, I think that if I'm being honest with you, the four iron probably surprised me a little bit in the sense that I was surprised how well I hit it um, I'll put your two dispersion charts up now. Hybrid, fairly uh, reasonable dispersion, I would say. And again, from an average golfer, again, you'll notice from the four iron, I just turn one over really left, but the rest were okay. The biggest disappointment with the four iron, I suppose, and the biggest change in technology is the drop-offs. So when you don't get it right out of the older style clubs, the older irons, then you start to see big drop-offs. So we've got, is it 162 is the shortest ball, the longest being 181. So that front to back dispersion is where the worry is and that's where modern technology has clearly advanced. So the point is, to summarize, if your golf club, if your swing is crap, your swing is crap, they don't make you a good golfer. But if you're hitting the ball half decent on the day and you're playing your, your sort of round of golf, then there's certainly more help and forgiveness in the hybrid than there is in older style clubs. I think that's the best summary we can give. Anyway, I'm done. I'm not going to waffle on with this one. It's a fairly short and sweet video. We literally made this one up this morning on the base of seeing that old four iron. And I was determined that we could put something together to see just how much difference there is. 
So I doubt you've enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed hitting that club. It was uh, really, really nice indeed. And ping, seriously, you need to go back to the drawing board and start with your irons feeling like the old ping irons from 30 years ago because that felt superb. Right, thank you for watching. I uh, Give me your comments. Anybody playing those irons still to this day or similar? And let me know what you think in terms of the advancements or not of technology. Right, hit that like button as well. Don't forget that. And I'll see you all very soon.